Welcome to NCAA Football 2006. All right, everybody over here, over here right now, listen up. If you're here, it means you want to play ball after you graduate. You guys all could have been studs on your high school team, but you need to show the college scouts in the stands today. You've got what it takes to be part of their programs. This is your proven ground, guys. If you do well today, colleges will be fighting to recruit you. When your position's called, men, get out there. You know what it means to leave it on the field? Leave it. Show us you deserve to be here. Greetings from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. This is a great day for football, and we're anxious to get this game underway between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the USC Trojans. Yes, this rivalry's special, folks, and it's for the jeweled shillelagh, an emerald adorned war club first introduced in 1952. And here come the Trojans. The Trojans come out like they're just going to roll over this team. What do you think about that, Herbie? USC is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. I agree with you on this one. Yo, I'm picking Southern Cal. They're just too good. And they're ready to kick this one away. And they'll be returning this one. Number 20 takes it at the 8. They'll set up shot at the 27. Notre Dame lines up with three receivers. Halfback pass. The ball came free. It's picked up by the quarterback. They narrowly escaped there. It was close, but he recovers a fumble for his team and avoids a turnover. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on their own 23. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. He jumps and he's tackled. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard game on the play. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 24 yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops back, steps up, he's looking. It as he throws, and this one's broken up. That brings up the punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. <laughs> Notre Dame lining up the punt. Number 17 gets it off. 
Number five calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 37. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. Today we get to watch a spectacular athlete at running back. When he's on the field, as he is right now, defenses really have to tailor their game plan for him. He's a heck of a player, and I really believe that he could have a huge game today. That makes two of us thin. I just don't know if there's enough talent on this defense, especially at linebacker, to compete with such a great running back. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Trojans come out in a two tight end set. They go with the option. Pitches back. There's the stiff arm. And they make the stop. Good yardage and a first down. Yeah, Brad, the tailback took the pitch and picked up a few yards there on the option. First and ten. Ball on the 48. The Trojans line up with four wideouts. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Comes across the middle. Brought down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Trojans line up in an I formation. Pitch left. Can't wrap him up. And he's going to lose yards on this one. The defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense. He's releasing a safety to stop the run. Hey, Kirk, that leaves a big hole out there. But on plays when they run the ball, it works. It's second down and 12 to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number 11 with four wide receivers. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looking. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. Third and 12 coming up on this one. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Trojans line up with four wideouts. He drops back. Steps up. He's looking. Going deep on the left side. And that one's fallen incomplete. They'll bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. The ball is tipped. And the D answered the call there. And this is huge for them. It's setting up the stage for their offense to take the field and make some big time plays. They'll get the ball here at the 30. The Irish come out in the ace formation. Throws it to the outside. Got it. And down he goes. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protecting just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Direction. Got an opening. To the 20. To the 10. And it pays off. Touchdown. The halfback got the carry and weaved through that defense for a score. He found some daylight and took off for six. And he hits the PAT. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place.
13 is lined up to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 22 fields it at the two. Shake and bake move. Bounces off the would be tackler. A confident defense heads out out of the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. And the last thing you want to do is to come out and do 